in this tutorial, we'll discuss st statistical operations using Scilab. So here we'll see how to perform various statistical operations using Scilab. Suppose let n data values like x1, x2, xn are sample of population of random variable x. If suppose random variable x having values x1, x2, x up to xn and we want to measure some statistical things like central tendency or dispersion with respect to that random variable. So here if suppose random variable x we have then there are two different types of uh, things we can calculate that is central tendency and dispersion. So under central tendency the arithmetic mean we have arithmetic mean, harmonic mean, geometric mean, median, mode and in case of dispersion we have a range, variance, standard deviation and so on. So those particular values like arithmetic mean or any range or variance that can be calculated by using Scilab. In case of central tendency measurement we know that arithmetic mean it is also called as mean or average. So it is nothing but summation of all the values divided by number of samples. So formula is x bar it is represented as x bar is equal to 1 upon n summation i star from 1 to n xi. Then we know the formula for harmonic mean 1 upon x h a r is equal to summation i tends to 1 to n 1 upon xi. We have formula for geometric mean. Now next is median. Now median means it splits the data or ordered data in middle. If suppose the values are 1 to 9 then 5 will be the median. It splits the values in the center uh, of the ordered data. Next is mode. It represents the midpoint of the class or classes with highest frequency count. So mode gives you the highest frequent, uh, frequency count classes. So those are nothing but various central tendencies available with respect to this random variable. It is dispersion measurement. So in dispersion measurement we have range, variance, standard deviation. So range means from where to where the values are so that sample range is equal to x max minus x mean. So it is nothing but a maximum value of the sample minus minimum value of the sample. So that will give you sample range. Variance the variance can be calculated by using formula 1 upon n minus 1 summation i star from 1 to n xi minus x bar so mean brackets square. Standard deviation it is nothing but square of root of the variance. So those particular values can be calculated by using uh, Scilab. So I will show you how to perform suppose a is equal to I am taking it as 1 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 comma 3 only simple example I am taking. So a values are 1, 4, 2 and 3. Now with this A, here is the A, 1, 4, 2 and 3. Right. Various central tendencies, I will start with the central tendencies. So which are those like mean, then harmonic mean, geometric geometric mean and so on so on suppose I want to find the mean I will write mean of there is command for mean finding mean is mean of a so I will write a mean is equal to so this is nothing but the mean 2.5 for the value 1 4 2 and 3 the values are 1 4 2 and 3 now if I want to calculate harmonic mean, harmonic mean then suppose a harmonic is equal to harmonic, har mean of a. So it will give you the harmonic mean of a. The harmonic mean is 1.92. Now next is geometric mean is equal to geo, geo mean the command is geo mean of a. So geometric mean is 2.213368. This is not for only four values. For any values we can find mean, harmonic mean, geometric mean. Now 
Till now we have calculated various means like a mean, mean, harmonic mean and geometric mean. Now I will tell you how to calculate trim mean. Now what do you mean by trim mean? In some cases, if suppose the values are, uh, it is hundreds of values we have and we want to calculate trim mean means 10% values of the initial uh, start beginning and 10% at the end you have to remove and you have to calculate the mean that is called as trim mean. So you have to trim the values. Suppose A will calculate A trim by taking the 10% values. So trim mean of A comma 10. So 10% values it will be removed 10% and 10% and the trim mean will be calculated. Now we will write the code for various central tendencies. Now we will find the mean, suppose a is equal to any variable with the various values 2, 6. Then we will calculate calculate mean that is also called as average or arithmetic mean. So suppose we will take capital A so that A is A mean is equal to the command is mean of A. Now we will calculate median. So A median is equal to median of A. So variable is capital A. So median of A. We will save and we will run it. So we will get the, those values. We will display it later. Then we will have harmonic mean. So it is A harmonic is equal to R mean of A. And A R mean of A. Similarly, we will calculate geometric mean. mean so a geo is equal to geo mean of a so here we have calculated mean median harmonic mean geometric mean and last we will calculate trim mean so a trim is equal to trim mean of a so those values like first mean we have calculated then median harmonic mean geometric mean and trim mean now we'll display all those we'll display it so that we'll use display command display of we'll display first mean a mean comma geometric mean then display will trim mean will display so a trim trim mean so this whole program is written and saved in side notes so that we have taken variable a we have calculated mean we have calculated median then harmonic mean geometric mean trim mean and then we are we want to display it so i'll run this i will clear i will run it save and select I'm getting all the values in this particular console mean value 4.25 median value 4.5 harmonic mean this one geometric mean trim mean so in one program we will get all those so that you have to write in a sign notes. Mm -hmm.